Welcome to Digital Toolbox, and we're going to continue um, creating the layout for our waffle. And what I forgot to mention in the last tutorial is that one of them only has six um, structures, and it gave us nine on both. And what it did was that it took the last piece or the last structure and repeated itself into until all the frames were filled up. And to fix this, all we have to do is list the items. So we're going to grab list item, copy twice and the orient will go into the list turn off the orient and then we'll go to sets grab a series copy and paste the number of values will be dependent on the number of structure we have so that's going to be the list length and then that will the s will go into i and now we have the correct layout on our surfaces next thing we want to do is find the center point of our each of the layout um, curves and so we can put a text to it so we can put it back together after we fabricate fabricate so go to surface go to analysis grab the b-rep area copy and paste this b-rep area and I'm going to turn off the center point since we know that it does what it does and we'll use it in a bit Next thing we want to do is format text. So we'll go to logic, grab a one variable expression. We'll right click on the expression editor. And then I'm going to write in format. And as you know how to format, whatever is inside the quotations will be a string. So format, open parentheses, open quotations. A, open braces, zero, close braces. Um, close quotations. So zero is the first um, integer or the first number that we'll start off as. And then comma x close parentheses. So then x is the variable that we want to change. And then we'll click OK. Copy and paste. I'm going to change a into b for the for the second format. And then we're going to need another set of series. So go to sets, series, I'll copy and paste this. We know that the starting number we want to be as 1. Commit changes. And that will go into X. And once again, C will be the list length. So now we have our, our values. We hover over R. It says A1 to A9. So now we want to put text, the text tags to this format. So we'll go into vector, go to point, and grab the text tag 3D. We're going to need these four times, or four buttons. S is for the size of the text. So I'm going to grab a slider, edit the slider from flowing points to integers. Lower limit of 0, upper limit of 36, and the value to be 12 click OK and then I'm going to convert this into inches so go back to logic and grab a one variable expression x over 12 this will go all into s the text we want to we want to put in will be the formatted so two of them will be for B and then two of them will be for A so two top one will be A two, two bottom one will be for B now the location for the surface will be the the center or the B rep area. So now as you can see that it says a four, a five, a six when we zoom in. And I'm going to turn into top view so you guys can see the layout. And then for the other text tags, we're going to drag this back to the box corners. and A will go into L and A will go into L so we zoom in to our waffle and as you can see that there's just a, a a bunch of numbers laying on top of each other and to fix this we just need to right click on L and click on flatten and then it fixes fixes that problem so now you can see that if you change the text we can toggle this down to like maybe six inches in text and we can read off the structure and its letter so we can rebuild this after we print it out 
or um, laser cut. So that's how you add the text onto our structure. And thank you for watching.